One of your colleagues had a really great question. She wanted to clarify a difference that she saw in the slide set uh, versus the book. Your book implies that graphemes are simply letters. And in the slide set, we talk about graphemes being letters or letter combinations. So I wanted to take a moment to distinguish the two. In linguistics, we often talk about graphemes being um, contrastive written symbols. So what does that mean? In our alphabet, I could make a symbol with a line, a vertical line, and then I can do uh, two uh, perpendicular lines uh, from the top and from the center. And that's going to be the letter F. Now, if I go to the bottom and add one more line, I've made a new letter, and that's the letter E. And so by adding just one stroke here at the bottom, um, I've made a new letter. So it's contrastive. Um, these letters can be used uh, to make different words. If we look at the writing system for another language, in this case Amharic, we see that there are different symbols and they have slightly different versions. Going from first order to seventh order, these are me, mu, mi, ma, me, me, mo. Those are what we think of as syllables, but the symbols themselves are slightly modified and sort of represent a consonant and vowel together. So each of these different uh, strokes that modify the original symbol um, tell the reader which syllable uh, to say. So each of those symbols is a different grapheme because the minor differences between them are contrastive. They make new symbols in that writing system. If we think about different fonts of the letters in our alphabet, we could think about um, slight variations that are not contrastive. For example, uh, a lowercase letter m can be written without serifs. A uh, serif is the, the, those extra little lines that appear on fonts like Times New Roman. Um, we can have one without serifs, or we could have one with serifs. Either way, those lines don't matter to us. They're not contrastive. They don't make a new letter. We recognize both versions as the same grapheme. So that's the linguistic view of a grapheme, uh, the smallest contrastive unit in a writing system. It's important, however, to know that there's a different definition. And when you look at um, reading programs um, and phonics-based um, uh, educational programs that um, teach reading, graphemes are often described as letters and letter combinations. Um, so for reading, it's important to know that when S and H are next to each other, they often represent one sound, sh. That O-O can be either U or U. And so those are often described as graphemes. For our purposes, um, it's important that you know that graphemes can be letter combinations. Um, that working definition is probably one that you're going to encounter uh, more as future clinicians. So I hope this helps.